Welcome back everyone, this is Brushes and Bunnies and we're back with another video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, we're going to be learning how to draw a cat. Now for those of you who have joined the stream uh, yesterday actually, or on Sunday I should say, I did draw a cat and I did pre-record the actual sketching process um, so I can make a video tutorial. So this is what it is. Unfortunately, the actual video is a little bit unfocused. I tried to change the saturation so that you guys could at least see the lines. And sort of like a guide, I added a um, like building or a guide to the left side of the screen. You will see like random little black circles. Um, as the video progresses, you're going to see the actual like the, these are the reference lines that I use. So I hope that this will help you. So for this drawing, I use specifically the Prismacolor Color Race in light blue color to start off the sketch because I knew that I was going to be coloring in the fur with a lot of pencil crayons and I just wanted to have a nice light sketch to start off. For future video tutorials, I will be using graphite in terms of um, the actual quality so you guys can see it better, but I still wanted to post this video because a lot of you have been asking how to draw a cat, so I hope that this really, really helps. The paper that I'm using is size A4, it's from the brand Dollar Rodney. I'll be posting the links um, to the materials that I'm using down below in the description. It's a beautiful paper, it's crisp and white, it's very thick, um, it weighs, it's a 120 pound paper, so it's really nice for professional drawing, so I would definitely recommend getting a pack of this. I think I paid for a pack of 20 or 30 sheets, approximately 6 euros, 6 or 8 euros, so it's actually fairly cheap and it's really good quality. So just to give you guys a couple tips on drawing animals, uh, I'll be doing a lot more video tutorials regarding animal drawings, but for now, I just kind of want to break it down. So basically when you're drawing any sort of animal and or even a human, you can definitely break down the initial shapes of the body, of the face, of the facial features um, with geometric shapes. So definitely take the time to learn the proportions. Uh, use reference lines so you can see the little character that is kind of being um, drawn to life in the left side of the screen. You can see I used a lot of circles. I used um, more so oval shapes for the nose, for the eyes. You want to have like almond shaped for the actual cat's eyes because they are very feline. I mean, obviously it's a cat, um, but they kind of have little triangles. So you can kind of picture the eye as a circle with triangles attached to the ends. That's how I envision it. Um, I hope that helps you. I'm not really sure if that's a good way to describe it. And as for the ears, you can picture little triangles, same for the mouth shape and the nose. Um, so really break it down with geometric shapes. That is how you can start by piecing the cat together. Afterwards, you can spend the time to flesh out the curves. You can flesh out the, the different shapes of the cat, uh, the cat's features. Um, so yeah, definitely start with geometric and then spend the time fleshing this out. You don't have to be perfect initially. The perfection, um, if you can call it that, I would call it perfection in a way that you're finalizing the general shape. This can come later on as you continue sketching the shape. So it's a progression, it's a gradual progression as you keep fleshing out the animal. So at this point in the video, I'd like to just point out the actual muzzle or the mouth area of the cat. Um, so in the little illustration in the left hand side of the video, you saw that I illustrated this with three circles within the actual giant circle. Now this is just to kind of, um, kind of flesh out the areas of the cat's mouth. So you've got the chin, which generally looks like a little ball, and then you've got the side uh, muzzle, or I don't really know what this is called on a cat, but the lips curve into a circle shape and this generally stands out a lot for most cats so you, you can really just use circles to define this part this is where the whiskers will come out um, there's also generally a lot of shading in this general area so use three circles to kind of give a three-dimensional shape to the actual cat's mouth Something I like to do once I have the general shape of the cat's face is to start working on the pattern of the fur. So some cats will have darker fur, some cats will be solid color, other cats will have patterns in the fur. And I, like for this video, I already pre-sketched out the general areas of where these patterns will be. So on the forehead, around the, um, like the top of the head, around the eyes, around the cheek area. So I definitely um, use just regular lines. I will kind of outline the pattern. And later on, once I actually get to coloring it in, I then know where the certain darkness or the shades will be. So this is kind of a way to just 
um, use reference lines or use just regular outline to find a way to mark where the shading will be. So basically for the rest of the video, I just re-outline some of the lines that I drew, especially around the eyes. I make it darker. I try to get the eye shape as close as possible to when I'll color it in. So I mark the thickest parts of the eyes just to indicate to myself that I'll be filling this in with black, sort of kind of like a black highlighter or not a highlighter, I mean eyeliner. So cats look like they're wearing makeup. So I like to really enhance this part of the cat's eyes. Uh, so yeah, so I just have darker, thicker lines in certain areas that I know I'm going to add shadow. And that's basically how I built my sketches or how I built my animal sketches. Um, and basically for the rest of the video, I'm just playing around with the sketching. I'm adding flowers to like the crown of its head, uh, making it a little, a little bit of a pretty cat. And I think that the hardest part of the actual uh, drawing is to color it in afterwards. So I did do a live stream of this and I'm thinking of putting the footage together in terms of the coloring process and making a speed painting video out of it while explaining my technique in terms of building fur. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to have this, if you would like for me to do this video and I'd definitely give it a go. I'm not sure, I haven't really done these videos yet where I take sort of the pre-sketch, make a video, and then take maybe the live stream that I did and make a speed painting video out of it while explaining sort of the technique that I'm doing. This would mean that I would have like three of the same type of video on my YouTube channel. I'm not sure if that's really helpful because while I'm kind of talking about um, things in the live stream, when I'm actually working on the piece, I can explain my technique. I could explain um, the, the materials that I'm using, the, the way that I'm doing it. But I'm not sure if this is really helpful for you guys. Maybe we should have a shorter video to kind of talk about these sort of aspects. So let me know in the comments below if this is something you would like to enjoy or you would like to, to know about or you would like for me to actually make these, these different types of videos. And also I've kind of seen other artists do this as well. So like artists like Mark Crilly, he's had different versions of the same topic or the same video uploaded, whether he's talking about the coloring job or the sketching job. There's a long version, there's a short version of it. Um, so maybe I could start incorporating this as well. I think that would be really cool and helpful. It's sort of like little mini lessons in a way. So that's basically everything for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you would like any other type of video tutorial. Also, let me know if you like the new format in terms of me explaining the geometric shapes or the reference lines that I've used for this drawing, um, the little illustration in the left-hand corner of the video. Let me know if this helps you. I would love to get this feedback because I will then incorporate this into my future video tutorials. Uh, so I think that it would really help you. Um, I know it would have helped me if I had seen these types of videos before, just to kind of learn the actual reference lines that the artist had used. Um, so yeah, I think that's the best way to learn. Um, just let me know in the comments below. Give me a big thumbs up. This really helps to support me and to continue making really good content for you. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. I do weekly live streams. I try to teach art in a way. I try to get a community happening with my, my YouTube channel, a very friendly art community. And um, yeah, definitely speed painting and challenge videos are coming up. So thank you so much for your support. And I wish you guys a lovely, lovely, sunshiny day.